today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I have a very unclear video and we will see how this will go. I am going to show you and rank six of my, I think I would say rainbow palettes, kind of rainbow palettes-ish. And what I mean when I say rainbow palette, they have a lot of color and I often think of rainbow palettes as like bright palettes. So I think I have these six. I might have some more. I don't know. <laughs> but these are six kind of rainbow palettes, rainbow-ish palettes that I'm going to talk a little bit about and rank them. And I, even though like I, it looks like I've fallen into a rainbow today, rainbow looks isn't my thing anymore. I don't know if it ever was my thing, but I like this from time to time, but it's not like the happier, the brighter, the better. The grungier, the darker, the better, I feel now. But at one point, I really loved this because this was something that was very new to me. So I'm going to talk about six palettes today and I'm going to rank them. This is going on my nerves. Okay, so in the bottom at number six, this is... I have this as a single, but it is... A palette and it's from a colored rain it's their I think it was the vivid pigments when I bought them and it looks like this I haven't used it that much I have used um, some of the colors in different looks but I haven't like got the money out of this for sure I maybe used it five or six times I I think it is a good variation, even though I think like the purples are too similar and also the blue are too similar. And also like these, I don't think that all of these three was necessary in this palette. But I like this and I saw that my red is getting out of the pan for some reason. This has only been in a drawer, I really don't hope. It falls out. I like this, but I bought this really early on in my color journey. But I don't know. It's something like missing. I would want maybe a little bit more different of blues. Um, you can easily do a blue look with this, no problems at all. And you can easily do a purple look. But I feel that it would be more fun if they were a little bit more different, especially the blue and the purple, but it's nothing wrong with that. I think though they might have changed the formula, I'm not sure, but yeah. I don't know. If it was now, I wouldn't have bought this, no. In the next place, I have one palette that I have loved so much, but now I haven't used it for a long, long while. And that is Certifies Tropical Wonders. I think this might have been... Uh, this, I think this was my second rainbow palette. And this is like a true rainbow palette. This is everything. I like it for that because it has all the colors you need. And the colors are good. But I don't know. I don't know what I don't like about it, but it's something that doesn't speak to me that much anymore. Maybe it's because this is not my favorite thing to do anymore. I have done like true rainbow look with this. I think it was in my first impression and I really like that look. And I have done free looks one palette with this one as well. Yeah. But it's the same as with the from Colored Rain. If it was now, I wouldn't have buy this because I know like the idea with the rainbow palette it doesn't excite me anymore and it's like what am I going to do and when brands releasing rainbow palettes right now I'm like do I want that no but it is a good palette 
the quality is good, the shades are good, but it's not like, I think it's a little bit too much maybe, I don't know. In next place is a palette that has been my favorite palette in my collection and that has a very special place in my heart, but I haven't used this for so long. I don't even want to know how long it's been since I used this palette. And there is the Sulu palette by Yves Place. This was my first more colorful palette. The one thing I don't understand in this palette is what the brown is doing there. I have used the brown. It's a good brown, but I would love if this would be a red one. The one thing though I really like about this, you can do really easy looks. It looks really, really good and my nose is itching. And it has three shimmers. It is a good, small, compact rainbow palette that I don't think you are missing that much of. Maybe like a blue, but I think it's workable. And the shadows are good, they are good US Place quality. But it's like, I want something more out of my palettes nowadays. I like small palettes, but this one... I think it's a little bit the same with the Certify. When I like discovered colors and found out how fun that was, that was all I wanted. Now, I don't know. And it feels so strange to say that when I look like this. Next up on third place, I don't know if you would call this a rainbow palette, but I think it's kind of a rainbow palette. That's why this is rainbow-ish palettes. <laughs> and it is the Nomad Tokyo Harajuku palette. This is by far the cutest palette I have. I, own. I love this palette. It looks like this if you didn't know. And the thing, the, the thing, the thing that is a little bit unusual with this, maybe it's, uh, it's three different formulas. So this top row is matte. This second row in the middle is satins. And one in the bottom is duochromes. I've done three looks, one palette with this one. I loved it in my first impression, like I was blown away in my three looks, one palette. I wasn't in love with it anymore. It is good, but I have to use another technique than I do in normal cases. But it's such a cute palette. I think it has the most when you want to do like a really fun bright look and one thing that I love is that it is these duochromes down here if you want a little bit of oomph to your look and it's so easy to like if you have a duochrome in a palette I think some of these are even multichromes don't quote me on that you can just maybe take this purple one slap it all over your lid and then top it off with maybe this one or this one and you have a really cool look really easy and you don't need to do anything more so that is why I like this palette a little bit more and also because it's cats in the pants and who doesn't love cats only strange people doesn't love cats said what I said so this is the in the third place really like it but I wish that the formula I don't know, I, I do think this satin things, I wish they were mattes instead, but it's like this, eh, what is it, <laughs> this purple and this orange is so good and this pink is also good and I like that it has this deeper one, so yeah, and this one it's good. But it's missing some things. Then for top two, do you know which palette I'm going to talk about? I'm going to talk about Pastel Pop as number two. This is from Nardi Cosmetics and this is a little pastel rainbow palette. I... Should I like say which one is in number one? Maybe know which one is in number one? The thing with this is... If this was the only pastel palette that I owned, I would love this. I would love it so, so much. I like this palette. I like that it is... 
I like this palette. I don't love it, but I like this palette. And the thing that I like is that so many different colors. But I have tested other pastel palettes that are so much more intense than these. I think this is good for someone that is maybe diving into colors and want a fun palette. This is a really fun palette and I like it has a shimmer and it has a black and a white one. <laughs> and I love that it's a yellow in here and it is a really good palette. And if you haven't tried that many pastels, I think that you would really, really like it. I like it, but I know that they are better pastels out there. But I love it. it's like a little fun, bright rainbow palette. And it has everything. It has a pink, it has a purple, it has an orange, it has a green, it has a yellow, and it has a blue. So I really like it, but it's getting like the one that is in first place. It's making me don't like pastel pop as much as I think I would do. So the one in the first place is the Creepy Cute palette. This is what I have on my eyes today. I don't know if you would count this as a rainbow palette, a rainbow palette, but I do. This is the best pastel shades I have ever tried. Have I tried that many? No. Do I think that I need to try much more? No. This palette is amazing. I don't know how much I can say uh, other than I just love it. As I said, I have it on today and you see like the intensity of these shades. I think this is just amazing. The one thing I don't like, I would wish for at least the gray to not be in here and have a pur- no, not purple. A yellow instead that would be a dream the black I can live with it's a really good black but if I have a choice I would swap these out and have two more fun bright colors because the colors in these they are pastels but they are bright pastels like I don't know if you can see this green in here that is take a hint it's like a, a toxic green I love it. So I think this is a little rainbow palette, a little rainbow pastel palette that is amazing. I would recommend these to everyone. And the thing that... <laughs> when I bought a pastel pup, <laughs> I already had this one, but it was like, I'm going to try to open a pastel pup. Sometimes when I use the Creepy Cute, I think there is something missing and I think I get that in the Pastel Pop palette. Do I wish for the same amazing formula? Yes. Am I okay with the Pastel Pop? Pe pastel Pop? Pastel Pop. It's many P's now. <laughs> am I okay with this formula? Yes, I am. But um, this one is... It's just out of this world. I love it so, so much. And now I'm going to try to close the palettes without ruining the palettes. And that was my six, top six, my six rainbow-ish palettes. I know that I might have some other palettes that maybe count as rainbow palette. I don't know if it's really that like precise with rainbow palette, but these are the six that I have that I think are really rainbow palettes. And I can recommend them all, but for different things. If you want something more with a lot of colors and maybe not that in your face, um, I would recommend the Pastel Pop. If you want that little extra that is in your face, I would recommend the Creepy Cute. If you just want many, many colors to choose from and to know that you have all the colors you can possibly need. I would recommend Tropical Wonders from Certify because it's it's got everything you need. It has one of each color. Um, and why do I would recommend the other three? <laughs> These two, I don't know if I would recommend them anymore because I'm not... The Zulu palette is really good. Um, 
Maybe I would recommend it if you just want to try colors. But at the same time, you can buy the Creepy Cute. But if you want some more, maybe not intense, but a little bit more depth too. And the shimmers, I, I could recommend the Zulu palette. It feels like a classical, <laughs> colorful palette. And if you want something cute and you want some more formulas to play with and you want to do something more than just a matte look, I would definitely recommend the Tokyo Harajuku palette. It feels like this has everything you might need if you want to do something a little bit more colorful. I think this is a good complementary palette if you want to just add in something fun. Maybe a little bit duochrome, maybe a little bit of a light light yellow or really good orange. I think this is a good complementary palette. I think though it can be a little bit of struggle to do this use this on its own. But I don't know, maybe you can fix it really good. I've done three looks on palette with this one. It went kind of good. It could have gone better. But yeah, <laughs> that is everything for this video. I hope you liked it. I don't know what this was for kind of video. But yeah. It was a long time since I like recommended. I know that I've talked about five green and blue palettes I recommend. Five green and blue palettes I really like. Something like that. But yeah. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!